Hi, Amy. How you doing? Uh, hey, great job. Let me start with your cover. This is really a good job. You've done such a nice job with color um, on this. that it, it, It's really got this very cool retro look. So good job. A couple of things with your typography. You've got um, a couple of things that you, you probably, well, typographically, I think you're there. You, everything here is making a lot of sense. Um, and I think you've got a really good solid foundation to work with. So some of the things I, you know, we looked at like magazine techniques um, in some of our um, resource folder items. So one of the things is that if you have an image like this, I think this is placed perfectly on the cover. However, this is just begging to start something right here at eye level. And you'll note that happens quite a bit. It's a really good idea to keep a, a little bit of space away from your, your uh, masthead. But it's just, I think it's a start too low. Anyways, good, good typography. These are good. Um, you're doing something here that I, I think is really, really a bad practice in production, and that's your stroking type. Don't ever do it because you're going to hear from it. You're going to hear from your editor, uh, your creative director, director, or most definitely going to hear from your printer. So you, you probably don't want to do that anymore. Let me command R this because I just want to take a quick look at one thing. Yeah, uh, baseline alignment's off a little bit. I thought I thought I saw that. That you should um, align that so that the bottoms of your letters, not the descenders, are you know your baseline of your letters is aligning with the baseline, not the descenders. Okay. Um, generally, I think that the type is this. There's a big area here of, of emptiness, so you maybe want to pull some type down a little bit, maybe a little bit more distance between some of your headlines but but really good job um typographically you're spot on i think this could be a little bigger that i think that might want to align right over here so like i said typographically you're spot on uh this is really good good type one thing i suggest here is um hmm, I just noticed something Okay, one thing you want to do here is uh, these are really large and prominent, and I think they're overtaking the page, and they're causing your eye to go like this, boom, 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 like kind of a pinball between numbers. So instead of doing that, I would, I think that we should take these numbers and reduce the size and put them maybe at the, at the end of the um, description, just small, you know. And and this is good. This right here, I was going to say before. Have you has this been stretched? It almost looks like it's been vertically stretched. So if you if that if it is, that's a that's a serious issue. Other than that, I think you're looking great here. Let's take a look at the uh, spread. Spread looks good, but I'm not seeing a whole lot of uh, like all of a sudden, boom. You know, here she is on the cover with this all this really subtle. You know, the cover is just this really soft focus, subtle, and then all of a sudden visually it's like, bam, we just get knocked out with this, these pink boxes. So I, I, I don't think that's very cohesive. I would rethink that. Um, typographically, this is uh, really unusual to put the, the rest of your headline over here because which by splitting that headline and, and th being that the headline has the most prominence on the page, if you split it, you're you're splitting this visual focal point so therefore you have two focal points now and you don't want that you want to concentrate on a single focal point so i would reconsider this choice right here and that pink box um, again you've got that little black stroke that that would this would get kicked back to you right by your printer saying what are you crazy um but th this is good this i would align to this 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 type right here is really really tightly current i'm sorry leaded your letters are almost even touching each other in some spots the descenders of some lights are almost touching the ascenders of others um so that's kind of strange okay and um and that's just packed that's just too dense for an intro the type itself looks really good i think you did a great job setting the type but your rags are you want to watch your rags. Rags should go like this, but not too much of fluctuation between long and short. So what you don't want is rags that go like this. 
that make patterns like this, like, like these waves, you know what I'm saying? This is pretty good right here. This is great right here. This whole paragraph is set beautifully. Okay. Um, typically, what you're going to have one of two things to show, um, to indicate a new paragraph. That one would be a space between, or the other would be a, a, a little bit of an indent. And you have neither here. I know you have a little bit of space, it looks like, but it's just not enough. It, so you want to indicate the, those page um, um, those paragraph separations, a widow here, uh, widow here. Um, basically, that's a widow too. So you want to watch those. Okay. Other than that, I, I think you've done really, really well. This is, I, I don't mind putting a, um, um, a pull quote like that in in a italic but that's just again that almost looks like it's been manipulated i mean it almost looks like you skewed the whole text box which you don't want to do that um so and then this i think should be a little bit tighter um kern and let it i'm sorry let it um just to pull it together a little bit and i would remove any pull quotes away from the image because it looks like that's a caption and not a pull quote so there's a difference of course so okay other than that great job awesome awesome work um you you're 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 doing very well okay nice job amy thank you